I was going to show you a little bit of um, how how I did the 3D art. Um, maybe you guys have seen like normal, like how how people do 3D art sometimes before, and and you you know you'll make a cube and you'll select the top and then like you know move it and select the points and extrude and stuff. Um, that's sort of the old way of doing 3D. Has and anybody ever seen this? Yeah. So probably. I have it. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah, anyway, this is this is like sort of, um, th this program is called uh, Sculptress, and it's free. Sculptress? Okay. Yeah. I don't use this one normally, I use, but I use something like very similar. Uh -huh. And um, uh, you can use it with a mouse, actually. And, and a, is this a, a Wacom? Yeah, this is a Wacom. Yeah. And what, huh? which version? Because I'm thinking about getting one. This is the, uh, like, couple-year-old, like... I think this is the four. Um, we can but, talk later. Uh, yeah, and you can get a tablet, a Wacom tablet, for like, like eighty bucks now. Mm -hmm. Cheap one, and they're they're pretty good for for drawing and stuff. But this is a this is actually a three D sculpting program where you don't have to worry about polygons, you don't have to worry about points, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Seems mm -hmm. like my kind of three D program. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done 3D, so I think this might be the start. Yeah. It's called Sculptress. Okay, yeah. great. And it's um, it's uh, a lot easier to use than, than the other 3D programs. It's a lot quicker to get like good detail. And it's how I did a lot of the homework. How do you make the 3D? Wait a second. Let him do stuff. some demo. That's in the first. game engine. But, um, um, yeah, so like even the walls in Homesick, the chairs, I like sculpted everything. Um, wow. And I think that's part of like what gives it like a unique feel. Like if, if, like the, the walls, like there's no like perfectly straight edges. It's all yeah. like kind of like sculpted like. Um, yeah, uh, so that's neat. It's really yeah, hard to do like, that. Uh, if it's, yeah, the chair, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you know, the, even this like edge here, it's not like perfectly straight. Like the, the walls, they've got like little bites out of them. Right. And just like little things to yeah, yeah. like. Good yeah, texture. Oh, it's yeah. absolutely stunning. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very beautiful. Like, very well so, and, and the way I got that was by sort of sculpting everything instead of doing it the more normal <coughs> way. And I, I really think this is sort of the future of like 3D modeling. And eventually everybody's going to do everything this way. Um, I worked at one game studio for uh, for a year in between Blur and doing my own game company, and that whole year, like all I did was sculpt everything. Like, um, and it works. Like, it's, it's great. Yeah. So here's um, I'll I'll try and do a dolphin. So which tool are you selecting? Um, I'm selecting this like grab tool that will let you pull out the. I see. Oh, nice. Oh, oh no. This is so unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, it's got symmetry on already, so it's doing the same thing on both sides. You can make it look like it's. So you it's make it symmetrical by hitting symmetry, but you can make it asymmetrical as well. Yeah. Totally cool. It seems symmetrical by default. Yeah, that's great. Mm. What, do you think we're going what does that look like? Maybe, the I, tail? maybe I'm making a whale. Or a penguin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> looks like a fin. Oh, it's on the finish. And sometimes it'll just tell you what it's like. What, what it's going to be, yeah. <laughs> It'll what it, uh, what Methinks we must get sculptress. Yeah. Especially yeah, if it's right free. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's free. That's why I'm showing this one. Because the other one is like 700 bucks or something. But this one is really like... What were you using? What kind of um, system is it's it? It's by the same company. Um, I'm not sure if they have this for, for Mac or not. Um, this is for this is Windows. But it's just a pro. We have Windows. Yeah. We have Windows here. Yeah. Nice. And it's called cool. Sculptress. Yeah. And it's a female sculpture. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's pretty time. awesome. Thank you. 
and then, then that's so, a dig. So now you're, uh, so you're yeah, so now I changed my brush to like this. Wow, what a nice this, like, Something a little softer. Yeah, and you can smooth. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really cool. Like, who needs clay, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of people like are trying to learn, like try and learn three D modeling, and I feel like so this, this, this is why I can't get it. into Blender because I'm I'm destined to use this one instead. Yeah, yeah that's like the old way. That's, Thank that's you. That's probably a better fit. Blender is the old way. Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's still useful, but like this good. is this is definitely going to be the future of okay. like doing most of. So what's the oh, I feel like we just jumped over a huge hurdle right there. <laughs> yes, we did. It's like the difference between drawing the, the handles on Illustrator and using the pencil tool. But we were, you know, when we were learning yeah. it. Um, but you must have the Wacom to do this. Yeah, the, the Wacom definitely makes it easier. You can do it with the mouse. But yeah. You, you need that pressure uh, sensitivity, right? And it's yeah, not that much, it's right? It's 80 bucks. We could totally get one. Wow. That's next for the lab. And you say okay. in what format? So um, you can bring it into your game? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, 80 um, bucks. I haven't tried exporting on this one, but. Um, Maybe we can get an, 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 export out of, an educational uh, discount. You can yeah. export it to like OBJ or something. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, here we go. Export. Awesome. Yeah, so it's so like exciting. Um, one thing is. One problem is this this will be very high resolution. Um, so you got higher resolution. res than you would want. Um, I'm not sure about this program, but in ZBrush, the, the one the version I use, um, a reduce selected. There's probably a way in here to reduce the reduce the um, topology. And you might even be able to talk to Pixel Logic as the company makes this and see if you can get the full ZBrush version or something if, if you felt like you needed it mm -hmm. yeah. for educa educational purposes. They probably have an education product. Yeah, yeah. Package, but um, the, you have to do a lot of tap dancing to convince them <laughs> that that's what, you, what we are. Yeah, they seem like a cool company. That's great. Like, like most companies, you know, um, you, you have to pay for upgrades. Uh -huh. But ZBrush, it's cool 750 company. bucks, which is isn't super expensive for professional. It's not right actually, now. yeah. And, and you have free upgrades for life. Okay, so ZBrush is the, That's the program other program you use. Yeah. Yeah. And, and is Sculptrus is, is the a one. similar yeah. uh, both, both way by the yeah. and, it, and it's logic. Um, pixel logic. We pixel are logic. so lucky. Yeah. We are so lucky to have you today, Barrett. Give me a hand, you guys. So what's the game engine? Um, the game engine is, uh, is Unreal. Unreal. Yeah. So we're using Unity, and he uses Unreal. Yeah. But there are Unreal many things. That... And, um, and, and ladies and uh, Sculptress. Sculptress. Uh, Sculptress. Yeah. We'll send it to your parents. Unreal. Cool. Yeah. And yeah, we're going to send all this information to your parents. Yeah. Okay. And if like I, if if you if people want to try it too, I mean, yeah. 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 Um, if you have any instructions on uh, how gentle they must be yeah. or how, you know. Are you sure you just want to try the tablet? Does anybody want to try a tablet? Does anyone want to try Dylan does. does. You guys should all try it. I, I also brought an Oculus Rift if anyone Ah! <gasps> Yay! We should totally do that. Um, you can get them online on Amazon or a computer store. And yeah, I think they're like, you can get cheap, cheap ones from them. Like so Xbox, Barrett, Meeker. So they're, they're not terribly expensive. Oh, you can even try to use things. A -R -R -R. I have the same oh, one. Barrett, is it one T or two T's? It could be, yeah. yeah. It might be one T or it might be two T. Meeker, M E E K E R. Two T's. Two T's. Okay. Oh, uh, you click click off the model? Yeah, and then you can do it. Yeah. No, I mean just don't mix that up. Oh, see, so you, you sort of are, yeah. Nice. 
Cool. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, he looks like he has a baby riding him. No, that's obviously a danger shark. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, here there's a Like there's a. Here, Arkham City. Stuff. I think that would like sharpen things into a crease. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, instead of tricks. It's tricks. Yeah. That's what I was going to That's what I would have tried that first. So that's yeah, it's really great. I've read some tricks. You can make anything. Like I've seen people make it. Yeah, ADA tricks. That's a riff on that. Yeah, it definitely looks a little cool. harder, but like people are really like that. Yeah, yeah. Mark and Mike. Full trust in the NESS. That's a movie title. Yeah. It's definitely like easiest to make features. Yeah. That's why they chose that name. Yeah. It's starting to look a little humanoid. <laughs> like in a weird sort of way. <laughs> like in an alien sort of way. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. Dad has a weaker. Yeah. But he brought his obvious too. You have to wait for him to break it out. This this lends itself to creating aliens. Yeah. It's like totally just oh my God. And every conceivable kind of dog. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Dogs, yeah. So I was going to have him do the job. In fact, um, I had them at the, three, at the uh, library when he was doing a PhD. He was going to be for me. So, um, I was going to show you... Which is plenty oh, yeah. good enough. What operating systems will it be on? Um, um, PC and Mac. No. No Linux. No, no Linux. It's, it, like, a lot of the game engines, they, like, it, Unity is good where you can compile to Linux, but the game engine I'm using, like, they, they don't really support Linux, so. Uh -huh. It'd be a lot of extra work for me to, <laughs> like, a working, like... So what, what does Unreal, um, export to? Um, you can export to um, Mac, Windows, um, uh, iPhone, um, Android, and I, they have a new version that I can't use because I already started with the older version. Right. Um, but I think the newer version does Linux. Maybe. Oh, okay. And the newer version, um, it's it's uh, twenty dollars, mm -hmm. um, and then you can have it. And how? Yeah. But that's your upgrade. For the upgrade. That's that's, that's all. From, yeah. from me, if I wanted to go yeah. get it right tomorrow. Yeah, actually. What do you have on your computer that facilitates it? What kind of graphics card? Um, it does take a little bit of a good graphics card, I think. Um, I haven't tried the new version, actually. Um, the version I'm using, um, you can get for free. Um, it's $100 if you want to, like, actually publish a game with it, but it's free. Oh, that's not bad. Cool. Yeah. And it's called yeah. Unreal. It, it, the version I'm using, yeah, is called UDK, and the new version is called Unreal 4. Unreal. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Huh, maybe, I could, maybe I could pull yeah. $700 on my picture. <laughs> <laughs> I actually you have probably, a show. I was going to show you guys a little yeah. I, I do still have a question because now we know that it's a year and a half in development. How much time have you spent on the artwork? On the artwork. Per week, say, yeah. how many hours? Probably most of that time is the artwork. Um, uh, probably, like 40 hour weeks? Yeah. I, 60 hour weeks? I, I probably work like. 40 hour a week, for, maybe 50 hour a week. Oh, like okay. That. That's um, good. I can't work like crazy. <laughs> well, no. yeah. you get tired. Well, an artist needs the downtime. Yeah, yeah. So when, let's ask Jordan and then I have a place to go. You said there were six parts of the, um, the game. Yeah. It all takes place in the building though, so it's not like super exciting. But um, yeah, there's there's eventually like you you unlock that whole floor, and then you can also go up onto the roof and and also go down to the lobby and try and escape, get out of the building, sort of. What if you get out of the building? That's, that's the that's, next oh, game. Out of the world <laughs> into somebody else. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's the, the end of the game. Or the next game. Um, yeah. A part that's going to be the most important part? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, like, each each section you unlock by doing a nightmare. Like, you saw at the end of that one where you had the axe and you're breaking the door down. 
So at the end of that, then you wake back up in the bed, and then you can go through the door that you broke down during your nightmare. So that's how you sort of unlock new sections. And there's a point at the, towards the end of the game where you sort of realize what the nightmares are about. Things like that, but I don't want to spoil it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, yeah. Do you use um, sleep to help you create? Um, use yourself as an artist? Like, do I sleep? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, one of the things that in, I'm also a graphic designer, uh -huh. that I would design projects by taking a bath uh -huh. and give myself that kind of thing. And apparently, Edison did that. You know, certain yeah. way. I was wondering if you knew what your muse was. I do a lot of thinking in the shower, actually. Yeah. Like a lot of times, I'll I'll get up in the morning because I don't have to go anywhere to work. So I like get up, and I might like work a little bit or like eat breakfast, and then and then I'll take a shower before I really start working. And in the shower, I'll like, think about like exactly what I'm going to do that day and like try and get done. Um, just like brainstorm, you know, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you work in your house. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. I work in my house. So I everybody has work. their own way to do it. Great. Yeah. yeah, by the way, does the comp, do you get just paid a singular sum of money and then that's it? Yeah, so. Or do you just get paid for a percentage of, or do you just get paid for your Um. Well, like right now, I, I got the Kickstarter money. And then I also had some savings, and so I'm just um, living on that right now. And so that money's going like, <laughs> and, then, and, um, and then once the game comes out, um, then, It'll then, be yeah, hopefully, hopefully, yeah, right? Yeah. Money from, from <laughs> but uh, but but yeah, like the the stores that you sell it through, like Steam, will take a cut. And, and What's the um, target release date? Um, by the, by the end of the year. So okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Hopefully by October. I hear it's so it'll be once it's November. It's like available for okay. Christmas of 2014. <laughs> yeah. Oh, October? Oh, um, of course. Right. Um, um, the, the will come out after the game comes out. Okay. And that, they'll just be a free download for anybody that has the game already. Like, I don't think it's going to be complete because what if you go outside and the world is worse than the house? So they need to go back in. The, the fun of you'll see. The fun of being the game designer is you get to say when it's complete. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna share. That's why I find designing games funner than yeah than so, playing them. Yeah. 